You know, I feel like my white crane is way more fluid than it was last week. You're so weird. We're weird? Why is she being such a downer? Why do you think Miles wasn't in class today? Not this again. If I can prove to you he's fine, will you shut up about it? Maybe, but how are you gonna do that? Power of the internet. Just gotta get into his face range messages. At home. He just messaged Tristan this morning. Oh my god. Tristan asked him how he feels and Miles responded, I want to kill myself. So what, Maya? I mean, people say that all the time. Yeah, and sometimes they mean it. <laughs> this house. <laughs> Makes me want to start the uprising of the proletariat. Come on, hurry up. Hey, I'm missing my Tai Chi for this, so be nice. You guys stand guard. Miles. What the hell are you doing? Checking to see if you're alive. What? Tristan asked you how you were feeling and you said you wanted to kill yourself. Okay, because I have a head cold and I feel like crap. Did you hack my face range account? I... Have you totally lost your mind? Oh, hell no. Back off my BF, bitch. Chris, it's not what it looks like. Oh, really? Because it looks like you're trying to dig your trampy little talons into my man. I was checking on him! Look, she's crazy. She hacked my face range. Wow. <laughs> You've gone full girl interrupted on us here. Miles, just tell me. Just tell me what's really going on. Okay, get out of my house! Miles, just come talk on. to me! Miles! Oh, nice pattern on the button-up. I see you've been taking style cues from yours truly. First of all, just so we're clear, you stole this look from me. Mm -hmm. Second, have you seen Miles? Uh, no, I don't think he's coming today. But this is like the fifth class he's missed this week. So he skips all the time. He didn't used to. He used to be really serious about school. Are you sure we're talking about the same person? <laughs> Work hard, play harder. It was Miles' motto. Well, the boy I'm crazy about is more of a rebel without a cause. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Getting kind of worried about him. Who are you, Maya? Well, she has a point. Miles is moody all the time. Okay, well, when did you start noticing different behavior? When he started hanging out with you? Anger, frustration, disillusionment. These are just some of the causes of World War II. You would tell me more about this in your history projects. So, everyone, partner up. You think I'm the problem? You said it, not me. Well, you're wrong. If anything, I'm a good influence on Max. Says you. Okay, so I may have had ulterior motives when I picked wartime fashions as our project topic. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, I just have this hunch that you'd look crazy sexy in a uniform. Hmm. I'm happy to see you taking your education so seriously. Boys. Hard at work, I see. Actually, we're just putting together a presentation on the um, fashions of war. And um, Miles said that you had... Just give, just give it up. There's, there's no point in talking to him once he's decided to be disappointed in me. Okay. In the words of everyone everywhere, take a chill pill. Dad was just kidding around. Okay, just please don't. You're making it worse. You sound just like Winston. He thinks I'm the problem. What? What, what problem? He just seems to think that being with me has caused all these changes in you. You're talking to Winston about me? Look, people are noticing things. You're moody, irritable, and you skip class all the time. What is it with you people? Just, just tell me if it's me. You can't be the problem because there is no problem. Are you sure? Yes. All our friends, they're just jealous that we're happy, and they're not. Okay, well, you know how we can prove them wrong? By like using this history project together? Well, then let's go find some uniforms. I call this emergency meeting.
Does it ever hurt to be so wrong all the time? What now? Well, Miles and I talked, and I'm not the problem. He doesn't have a problem. Am I ever ready for presentations today? First up, Miles Hollingsworth and Tristan Milligan. I see a Tristan. Where's Miles? Come on. Fashionably late for a fashion presentation. Clock's ticking, Tristan. Uh, can't we let it tick for just a few more seconds? He'll be here. Seems like you have a problem now. Fine. Um, how about I get started and he'll jump in when he arrives? All right. <clears throat> uh, fashions of World War II. How uniforms help establish status and bonds between soldiers. Um, so, just imagine I'm wearing a fierce Royal Air Force bomber jacket, um, which Miles is on his way here with. And uh, imagine there's silver captain wings pinned right here. And um, if Miles was here, I'd say, Private Miles. And uh, seeing my captain's wings, uh, he'd say, yes, sir, captain. Um, um, sorry, uh, private, I need. OK, let me stop you there. I'm sorry, I'm trying my best. Presentation wasn't the problem. Your choice of partner was. Maybe next time, choose someone a little more reliable. OK, who's next? Why weren't you at school? Oh, dude, you are so loud right now. You promised you'd come to class to do our history presentation. Well, why would I want to go to class? That's where all those judgy idiots who judge me are. Because when you don't show up, I'm forced to do a solo show, where all those judgy idiots judge me. Are you getting high right now? Want some? No. No, I have to get back to school, and you should too. <sighs> but this is way more fun. <laughs> Smoking dope by yourself is fun. Well, now who's the judgy idiot? <sighs> it all makes sense now. Skipping class, being distant. But are you, like, addicted to weed? <coughs> no, I'm serious. I think you have a problem. Hey, my only problem is that this is my last joint, so... You were right. Miles has a problem. Oh, am I having deja vu? A weed problem. It's like me and Beyonce's new album. He's obsessed. <laughs> what is he in danger of over-snagging? A hearty horror. No, I looked up the symptoms of excessive marijuana use. Paranoia, depression, apathy. Oh, well, we need to do something about it. Like hold an intervention. Could work. No. Miles will hate us. This is a bad idea. Well, do you have a better one? Okay. Intervention it is. You have to drive us to school. Oh, get out. I need to be rude. Get out, please. Are you wallowing because Triss is still mad at you for blowing off your history project? Or are you hungover again? Hi there. I'm sleeping. Don't worry about Triss and me. I'll smooth it over. A fine example you're setting for your brother and your sister. Does no one knock anymore? Could you just take a good look. This is everything that you want to avoid being. Get out of bed. Clean yourself up. You drive your brother and sister to school. No more skipping, or else. He's probably just stressed out about the campaign. It's okay, Hunter. I've come to accept that I'm a perpetual disappointment. What the hell? Looking for this? Come on, Frankenstein. Give it back. What? Can't go one day without getting high? Now. Fine. But can you at least wait to smoke up until after you've driven us to school? I bet Holland's worth reporting for duty. I assume I'm supposed to be so blown away by your handsomeness that I instantly forgive you? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Tristan, I'm sorry I blew off your presentation. That wasn't fair. You're right. It wasn't. Look, I talked to Perino. He said he'd give us another chance. But that would involve me giving you another chance, wouldn't it? What can I do, Tristan? I want to make this right. 
wear that cute uniform for the rest of the day. But if I'm gonna live down my prior humiliation, we need to be stunning. Which means one more rehearsal at lunch. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, you got an audience? Good call. No, actually, um, we wanted to talk to you. About? It's an intervention, dude. We think you're addicted to marijuana, or as you like to call it, breakfast. Okay, so that's why you were being so weird this morning. And you, you knew about this? I was concerned about you. We all are. I can't believe you do this to me. Explain classic signs of addiction. Poor performance at work or school. Check. Sudden mood swings, irritability, or angry outbursts. Double check. Denial and secrecy to the point that it interferes with interpersonal relationships. Triple check. Okay, pot is not my problem. You people are. Hey, don't be such a jerk. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I upset little Frankie? Look, I know you want to play with the big kids, but the truth is you don't know what the hell you're talking about. You don't mean this. You're just upset. And you. You went behind my back when I thought you were the one person who understood. Well, I do understand. No, you're pathetic, you know that? Tristan, I, I treat you like absolute garbage and you keep crawling back for more. Why? <laughs> Are you really that desperate for somebody to love you? Jesus. I know you're still mad about the intervention, and I'm still not thrilled about all those horrible things you said, but it's been three days, three long days. It's time to kiss and make up. Emphasis on the kissing. Latte? You know that's got caffeine in it, right? Wouldn't want to get addicted. Okay, I admit it. The intervention was a little cray-cray, but I felt pressured to participate. For you. Come on, we can talk about it while Perino bores the rest of the class with tales of post-war Europe. <laughs> I need to sit up front. People seem worried about my poor performance. Frostbite, huh? It's gonna be a cold spring at Degrassi. Go ahead. Miles doesn't want that latte because it wasn't grande enough. I need a grand gesture if I want to win Miles back. A uh, terrible idea, dude. Hey, well, you're the one that pressured me to confront Miles on his pot addiction. What do you know? If Miles wanted to be with you, he'd be with you. And if he doesn't, you're better off alone. Where's Frankie? She texted to say she wanted to meet me here. Um, I might have told her to tell you that because I wanted to surprise you. Ta-da! <laughs> you love sushi. And even though you pretend not to, you know you love origami. <laughs> You can't ignore me forever. Maybe this wasn't the best place for a grand gesture, but I, I care about you, and I want to make it up to you. Well, I, uh, I do love sushi and um, origami. Yay! Um, I, uh, I worried the kimono was too much and maybe culturally insensitive. <laughs> The kimono's fine, but the bow. Point taken. Okay, now let's eat. If we leave the sushi out too long, we'll be bowing over the toilet. <laughs> what do you mean, Hunter's not the blackmail? Very important assembly this afternoon in the gym. So, Miles stayed for your sushi lunch. I assume romance is reborn? <laughs> sure. I'm surprised. I thought you'd be bouncing off the walls. What's up? Mm. I thought my sushi surprise was a hit, but he barely said two words while we ate. He wasn't talking, he wasn't opening my origami love notes either, and I honestly can't figure out why. I have a pretty good idea.
skipping the assembly? Yeah, it's not my thing. I'm surprised you're alone. What's that supposed to mean? You know, I kept thinking it was the intervention that pushed you away. As to what happened after that. I drove Maya to an appointment, so what? So you still have feelings for her? Because I gave her a ride? Because you stare at her from across the hall, Miles. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me you don't have feelings for Maya. You are a terrible person. You use and abuse people, and one day you're gonna wake up and realize you have nobody. And I am so happy that I won't be there for that sad, sad day. Because I am so done. Sayonara, Miles Hollingsworth. Too many months now, my heart.